Hi, and welcome to this overview video for RICAM Focal's new stabilization test. It's designed to let you measure the operation of the stabilization system in your lens or camera so you can make an informed judgment of the best time to use or not use the stabilization system. This video is intended as an overview and I won't cover every setting and result in detail. If you want to dig deeper, the information is available in the online help for Focal and in other videos. To get started with the stabilization test, you need to connect your camera to your computer. You'll also need a focal target mounted on the wall. The distance isn't critical for this test, a few meters will be fine. This test is different to most other focal tests in that it requires a memory card in the camera. Some cameras power down when you open the card slot, so it's best to put a card in before you start using the camera with focal. This test operates in manual auto exposure mode, so it's worth changing the camera to M on the dial now. Don't worry if you forget to do this or forget to put a memory card in the camera. Focal will let you know if there's any issues and you can correct them. Before you run the stabilization test, you need to take a measure of the lighting level so Focal can determine the available shutter speeds. To do this, head to the settings tab and hit the measure button. You'll see a message to aim the camera at the center of the Focal target. You don't need to be too precise with this, just hand holding the camera and holding it roughly at the center of the target will be fine. When you're in place, you can action the camera hotkey, which is usually just ticking the aperture or shutter speed dial around by one click. This acts like an OK to Focal so it knows you're ready to continue. The camera will take a shot, the lighting level will be checked and you'll see a list of the available shutter speeds. As a rough guide, you want to test with shutter speeds a little faster than the focal length of your lens. So in this example, for a 105mm focal length lens, you should have enough light to measure with about 1 200th of a second. And at the other end, you want the lighting level dark enough so that you can shoot up to around 1 to 2 seconds. With the default settings, the total range is around seven stops, so you might want to run the test more than once in order to capture the longest or shortest shutter speeds. To give you the most information, you can also enable tripod mode, which will capture the same set of shots, both tripod mounted and handheld, and then you can compare them. When you're happy with the lighting level and shutter speed range, Hit the start button and you'll be told the setup for the first group of shots. For this test you want to hold the camera like you're taking normal photos. This could be up to your eye or hand holding and viewing the screen if you're using a mirrorless camera or live view. When you're in place a tweak of the dial will action the hotkey again and start the test. You'll hear a beep just before the shots start and a chime when they've completed. A group of shots typically takes around 25 seconds. When you hear the chime, you can lower the camera and the images will be transferred to Focal for analysis. After a few seconds, you'll be told the setup for the next group of shots. Repeat the same steps to take these. Focal may take a little while to analyze all the shots, but the results will start showing on the screen as soon as they're available. The detail tab offers all the results information and will show data as it's being processed. The quality chart shows you the absolute measured quality, with the red line showing the stabilization system off and the green line showing the system on. Image noise and aperture changes can affect the quality level, but it's affected in the same way for both on and off results, so the effectiveness chart shows you this difference. Anywhere the line is in the green area, the quality is better with the stabilization system enabled, and where it's in the red area, the quality is actually worse with the stabilization system enabled. The horizontal to vertical ratio chart show you the quality difference measured in different axes and can help show how the stabilization system is compensating and also the effects of shutter or mirror vibration when mounted on a tripod. The stops improvement chart estimates the difference in shutter speed for the same quality level with stabilization on and off and this gives you an overview of how the whole system is performing. Finally, the image motion chart show you how the image moved around during the test. As with all focal tests, you can save a detailed report of all the results. I hope this video has given you an idea of the wealth of information you can capture with Focal's stabilization test and how to set up and run the test for the best results. 
We'll be adding more videos shortly with details about all tests and features, so subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates. Keep up to date with our blog at blog.rikanfocal.com and we're also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching.